In this video, we are going to see how to sell courses online with Instamojo and send files on WhatsApp. So let's say that you are selling your online courses and you want Instamojo to be used as a payment gateway. Then you want that every time a new sale happens on Instamojo, so the particular person, the client should receive a message along with the PDF file of the course on WhatsApp. How would you do that? You can integrate these two applications using Public Connect. Here, your trigger application would be Instamojo and your action application would be WhatsApp. You can do it yourself. Now let me take you to my screen and show you how. So let us begin with the process. The first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we click on enter, here it will take us to the landing page of the software. Now on the right hand side here, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up for free. And trust me, it will not take more than two minutes. You will get 100 free tasks at the time of account creation. Now I'm an existing user, so I'm going to simply sign in. And it has taken me to the All Apps page. Now, since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on Access Now here. And now it has taken me to the dashboard of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see a blue tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box appears which is asking us to name this workflow. So here we want that every time there is a successful payment made through Instamojo, a WhatsApp message should be received by the user with a brochure or with, you know, some image, etc. So here I'm going to name my workflow as Instamojo to WhatsApp. Let's click on create here. So finally, we are here on this page where you can see two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two concepts or those two principles on which this entire automation works. Trigger means when this happens an action says do this. Basically, action is the response of trigger. Now here, what would be my trigger application in Stamojo? So let's click on this. And now I have to choose the trigger event. Trigger event basically what would happen after a new sale only I will receive a message. So I'm going to click on this. And as we do that, we have received a webhook URL. Basically, this is the URL which is going to establish a connect between Pabli Connect and Instamojo so that Pabli Connect can receive the information. Now we have to follow these steps so that we can start with the process. So first of all, we have to log into our Instamojo account. I have already logged into my Instamojo account, so I'm going to directly take you there. And here we have to click on Smart Pages. So once I go there, here you can see that I've already created a lot of pages. So let's say the product is programming languages. Now what you have to do is, first of all, you have to click on the three dots and then you have to click on edit page. So now here you can see that this particular page is totally customizable. You can have your page header and uh, the title is there you can change the image or you can even place a video then you have different page themes appearance custom theme then the pricing so here i've got three options core php programming javascript tutorial and learning pattern basics and now of course since this is just a test run so the amount is really low now as we come down again so here there's this additional content and uh, then you can even put a profile picture or the logo of your company and then we have the social media links basically to promote you can even upload the social media links here now this is the most important thing page settings so here you have to manage your payment page now if we'll take you down so here you can see add webhook. This is what will connect Pabli Connect and Instamojo account. So here what I'm going to do is I have to first of all turn it on. Then I'm going to empty the space and I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and this particular URL. Let's copy this. Going back to Instamojo, I'm going to paste this. And once done, you know, you can have further details like page URL settings and etc. Now I'm going to click on save and update. Let's click on yes, save and update. And this means that finally there is a connection. 
Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and to understand if actually there's a connection, we'll have to do a test submission to record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response, which means now we have to make a test payment on InstaMojo. So we are going to go back on InstaMojo account and here again we are going to go on this programming languages. We are going to click on these three dots and this time we are going to click on view page. Now this page will appear like this. See, this is your header, then you have the image, and if you go down, this is the name of the company, etc. And here are the three options that you had put. Let's say that I wish to buy JavaScript tutorial, and I'm going to click on pay now. Now here, my details are required, so it is payment demo, last name is name, then the email ID is paymentdemo at pablitudes.com. Here I'll have to give the mobile number. So this is the mobile number. And now I'm going to click on pay. Now here you will have to make the payment. So let me quickly make the payment here. So here you can see that the payment has been made. It's successful and we have also received the message. Thank you for your order. Which means if I'll go back to Pabli Connect, I should receive the API response. And here you can see that the payment status is showing as success. The amount is 10. Then if we'll go down, this is the buyer's name, email address, then the mobile number, etc. So basically, InstaMojo is now totally connected with Pabli Connect. This was the first step of integration. Now let's move forward towards the second step of integration. What do I want? That every time there's a successful payment made via InstaMojo Payment Gateway, I should receive a message. So if I am the buyer, I should receive a message. So for this, the next action would be, I'm choosing the application WhatsApp Cloud API. And once done here, what do I want? The moment somebody has bought something, I wish to send them the brochure or maybe, you know, the details, the pricing plans. So here I'm going to click on send template message and click on connect. Now here you have to connect WhatsApp Cloud API to Pabli Connect. For this, we are going to click on add new connection. And now you can see that it is asking for three things to set up this connection, token, phone number ID and what's a business account ID. To get this, first we have to go to Meta for Developers page. Now I have already logged in here. Here you have to go to My Apps. And here you can see that I've already created a lot of pages. Basically these are the apps that I've already created. You can create your own app by clicking on this green tab. Now I'm going to go to this My Connect Message app. On the left hand side, you can see WhatsApp. Let's click on the drop down and click on getting started. Now here you can see that we have received what we require. There is an access token, then we have the phone number ID and then we have the business account ID. But there is one thing that you literally have to take care of is this is just a temporary access token. So if you will create your workflow using this particular token, your workflow will stop to work after a day. Why? Because this token will expire in 23 hours. So to set up a permanent connection, you need a permanent access token for which you can visit the video which is there in the description box. And it is a dedicated video which is made to understand how you can create a permanent access token. So if you will follow it step by step, you won't have to go through any trouble. Now I am going to copy this why because this is just a test run. So I'm going to paste it here. And next we want is the phone number ID, let's copy this, again go back, paste it. And now the third thing is what's a business account ID. And here let's paste it and let's click on save. So once done, now here what you can see is the template name, language code, selected template ID and etc. So now we have to have this information and fill it here. So the first thing we have here is template name. Templates are basically pre-written messages which can be shared on WhatsApp or any social media. So these templates can be created. And here I am going to show you few of the templates that I've already created. Let's go back to Metaphor Developers page. And here on step two, it is written to create your own message template, click here. So let's click here. Now here you can see on the right hand side, there's a tab, create message template. So you can create a message template 
as per your wish here i have already created a few and i'm going to show you the one that i'm going to share so this is send brochure final let's open this first now here this is the brochure you can see first of all we have a header so you can either choose an image or the video here i have chosen a document why because i want to share the brochure of my business along with my client now here as we come down this is the body part so basically this will include the text which is you know to be shared with my client hello and then you can see that there is a number enclosed within double curly braces thank you for showing your interest in again there is a number what is this number basically this number is a variable of course you will have different clients so here are my messages hello then we have the variable one thank you for showing your interest in variable two one of our team members will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our brochure which we have attached with this message where you can find all the services which we offer for more details you can visit our website and then we have another variable thank you regards so this was the body message you can always alter this and then let's come to the right hand side here you can see this is the preview here would be your pdf file and then we have the message now of course these things like the name of the person the company and the email address this can always be changed and that is why we had kept it within double curly braces as variables so now going back to public connect here i'm going to choose the template which is send brochure final and now the language code has automatically been selected then we have the recipient's mobile number now here you can see that we need the mobile number with the country code but without plus sign but if i'll show you if i'll map the data now what is mapping basically mapping means you have already received this information now you are just retrieving it that is mapping so if i'm going to click on this and i'll show you the mobile number it has the plus sign but how do we want it without the plus sign for this we have to add another action step here and the name of this action step is text formatter which is a very interesting feature by pabli so here what do i have to do i have to remove the plus sign so i'm going to click on split text and then click on connect here is we come down let's map the data so i want the phone number and then the separator the separator has to be the plus sign so the plus sign and do i need the plus sign no i need the information after it so i'm going to click on second click on save and send test request now here you can see i have received my mobile number in the desired format i'm going to go down and i'm again going to click on connect so i have we have already set up the connection this time we will only click on select existing connection and now i'm going to come down here and we have to enter the mobile number so let's click on this and i'm going to go to text formatter and now we have the mobile number then we need the header document url basically we need the pdf file which we need to attach with our message for this i'm going to go to my woocommerce account so this is the account and here on the left hand side you can see media i'm going to go to library and here i'm selling the php course so this is the pdf file let's click on this now i'm going to copy this url and i'm going to paste it here once done here you have to understand the file name so this can again be mapped and it was javascript tutorial now let's map the body field one so here i'm again going to go here click on name so this is the name and then we have the name so name of the company let's say it is pabli connect and finally the email address so i'm going to write so go here and then write email and this is the email address now let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the response and at the same time we have received a whatsapp message on our phone which says hello paytm payment demo name thank you for showing your interest in pabli connect then we have the entire message along with the pdf file so this means that the integration process between instamojo and whatsapp is successful 
Now what we are going to do is we are again going to go back to our Insta Mojo account and here we are going to make another payment to see if this can work live. So let's go here and click on view page. Now this time let's say I want to buy learning Python basics and now let's click on pay now and here let's fill in the data it's dummy and it's testing then the email id is let's say dummy at pablitudes.com then we have the mobile number and now i'm going to click on pay as soon as i do that so i have received the qr code now i'm supposed to make the payment so let me quickly make this payment so here you can see that the payment has been successful now what does this mean that the moment there is the payment i should receive a whatsapp message and here you can see is the screenshot i have received the whatsapp message so it is saying hello dummy testing and then we have the same message so i guess that you are absolutely clear with this workflow so now let me take you to Pabli connect and quickly understand what did we actually do so here the integration was between these two applications insta mojo and whatsapp so the first thing that we did was we chose our trigger application as insta mojo where we had chosen our trigger event as new sale which means every time there was a new sale a message would be shared now here the next action step that we had chosen was whatsapp cloud api where the action event was sent template message there was this text formatter by Pabli that we had added. This action step was added. Why? Because we had to split our mobile number because we needed our mobile number without the plus sign but with the country code. So that is it. This is a very easy, actually two-step integration process where we had added just one simple process in between. In case you have any doubt, you can always refer to the workflow of this integration which is given in the description box. You can in fact clone this video and process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any query or you have suggestion or question, you can always write to us.